Temperatures are slightly cooler across southeast Nebraska today and a good chunk of the day featured more clouds, but that is not the case now looking southwest over Honda of Lincoln. Skies have cleared and we will remain clear for the majority of this evening and the overnight hours. Here's where temperatures stand right now. We're in the upper 50s in Lincoln. A cold front was moving from west to east today, so you see cooler temperatures off to the west. It's 47 degrees in Hastings, 47 in Grand Island, and again, generally warmer temperatures off to the east. We reached the 60 degree mark uh, out towards the Omaha and locations along the Missouri River. Satellite imagery right now shows cloud cover mainly off to the east and southeast, continuing to move away from us. Broadening out the view, looking at the statewide perspective, there is a whole heck of a lot of clearing off to the northwest. This is what we have in store for this evening. So skies clearing, winds calling in the overnight hours. We're looking for a low temperature near 25 degrees, but the combination of clear skies and light winds and cool temperatures may allow for the development of some patchy fog in the overnight hours. So as you're heading into your morning commute, don't be surprised to see some fog. That's what Stormcast is trying to show here. Uh, I think the best chance is probably going to be north of Lincoln out towards uh, Omaha and towards Columbus as well, but we are not ruling it out in Lincoln. So just keep that in mind as you're heading out for your morning commute tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, we're looking at mostly clear skies on Tuesday. Another gem of a day with a lot of sunshine. We should be a little bit warmer. We're looking at high temperatures in the middle 60s. It's warmer again and in fact we'll get even warmer going in towards Wednesday but warm temperatures that hints at the potential for an increased fire danger relative humidities early tomorrow morning check them out they're on the higher side that is often the case in the morning hours as we have uh, cooler temperatures but as the day wears on temperatures will warm relative humidity will drop you see 18 percent per this particular run of stormcast at 5 p.m. tomorrow night and you see teens uh, even 10% uh, out towards Ogallala. So the relative humidity will be low. Air will be very dry. Wind gusts tomorrow afternoon will be greatest off to the northwest. And in addition to that, uh, the drought is a little bit worse off to the northwest. So the National Weather Service has seen fit to issue a fire weather warning for the pink shaded counties off to the northwest, including uh, Neely, Albion, uh, Grand Island, Broken Bow, O'Neill. goes into effect at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and will expire at 8 p.m. While this does not include southeast Nebraska, that does does not mean there is not an increased fire potential in southeast Nebraska and the National Weather Service in Omaha has hinted at potentially expanding this off towards the southeast. So we'll have to see what they do there. So 70 degrees on Wednesday, even warmer. It should be a little bit more breezy in southeast Nebraska, mostly cloudy skies. We'll have cloudy skies for St. Patrick's Day, but cooler temperatures as a disturbance approaches. Here's the thing. The best chance rain is going to be south of I-80. There's still some discrepancy as to exactly how the storm system will track. If it tracks to the north, well, the rain chances also increase off to the north. But I could easily see a situation happening where we have to shift this farther and farther to the south. So not the best rain chance on Thursday. Uh, the best chance being off towards the south. But after St. Patrick's Day, we warm up into Friday, mostly sunny skies, 60 degrees, 69, nearing 70 degrees on Saturday. Astronomical spring starts on Sunday, and it will certainly feel fantastic outside, 75 the high there. But then we cool off going in towards next week as our next storm system approaches. Could be a potent one at that. You might notice a little lightning bolt streaming on the Monday icon there. So there's a potential to see maybe an isolated rumble of thunder out of that as well. Some of that rain uh, could last into Tuesday before drying out by the middle part of next week.